Uh, let's move on to other news now. And Prime Minister David Cameron has mapped out a major overhaul of the UK's migration system, largely to curb the inflow of workers from the rest of the EU. Marty's Anastasia Churkin joins me now live with the details on this. Uh, Nastia, good to see you. You're in London for us at the heart of what's happening. What changes has David Cameron got lined up then? Well, Neil, after failing to keep his promises of cutting down the numbers of uh, uh, immigrants coming to Britain, which, of course, uh, David Cameron has promised to do time and time again, he is implementing and intensifying the system of uh, new changes that he's going to be implementing in attempts to keep his promises. Now, of course, uh, the issue of immigration has been a major bone of contention between Britain and the European Union for quite some time now, because, of course, one of the key principles for the European Union is uh, fr the free movement movement of workers and uh, uh, David Cameron here is saying that this is not something that Britain is happy with and they want to cut down the numbers of people coming to work in Britain. Now just to give our viewers an idea, so far this year as many as 260,000 migrants have come to the, U uh, to the UK compared to uh, just over 180,000 of people in uh, the previous 12 months. So this is quite a spike and this is of course uh, 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 bringing people to criticize the British Prime Minister quite heavily. Now, what, the steps that he, he is suggesting include uh, the following. First of all, he's saying that all EU migrants coming to the UK should have a job offer before coming here. Secondly, all job seekers, while they're jobless, can only stay legally in the UK for up to six months. Then they have to leave. Thirdly, tax credit claimants will have to wait four years before they're eligible for any benefits. And last but not least, he's going to be implementing a new policy of Deport, deport first and then uh, appeal later, which means there will be no uh, playing around. People will have to leave and then deal with the issue and appeal any such decisions later. Well, that sounds like a major overhaul. It's going to, it's going to uh, drum up some extreme opinions, I'm sure, in the UK. We'll watch with great interest. Thanks for bringing us up to date. That's Artie's Nastia Churkina.